Good morning all, it's post bag. Right, so a familiar sight to many, I'm sure. Maybe less so familiar. Um, let's have a look inside. So um, JLC PCB kindly offered to make uh, some of my PCBs for the uh, lighting project. And I also um, had the uh, little PCBs made for the vacuum pickup controller. Um, so let's have a look inside these. The uh, current offer at the moment on uh, the uh, website is 10 PCBs for $2 plus shipping. And you can obviously pick your your various shipping options from premium um, shipping or uh, economy. So uh, the overall price is going to depend on how you get that shipped to your country. But um, these were slightly more expensive because I chose the uh, the gold uh, the gold finish on on this PCB and also the the blue finish on all of the boards. So here we have our little PCB um, for prototyping the microcontroller up. So we've got a little bit of uh, power supply circuitry up here. Uh, and then we've obviously got our processor with all of the pins broken out to the side and uh, an in-circuit programming header. So this has the immersion gold finish on here and this looks absolutely fine. I've got no complaints about the quality of the, uh, the finish here. Obviously this isn't anything particularly exotic, so uh, well within the capabilities. But yeah, I mean the, the definition on these tracks looks absolutely fine. And the uh, silk screen quality is, uh, is also pretty good. I've seen some uh, boards that I've had in before that have been really poor quality, but these are perfectly readable. Even the uh, the very fine print on the uh, little logo there looks really good. So um, yeah, I've got no complaints here. I was hoping to um, to break out the uh, the ports from the microcontroller um, into groups, but unfortunately the layout just started to become way too uh, difficult. Uh, I don't know why the pins are so jumbled on these uh, microcontrollers. I guess that's just how the silicon ended up, uh, probably based on the peripherals inside. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got a mix of port C, port B, port D, all coming out in order. Uh, they just don't follow uh, any particular order, which is really annoying for, for the layout. But um, yeah, I mean, these are double-sided boards and you know everything looks absolutely fine here. So that's our immersion gold finish. You do pay a little premium for uh, the immersion gold, but um, I did order a stencil for this so that we can try and just um, reflow this with hot air. Uh, so we'll give that a crack uh, in the next video. Then we have our actual dimmer board. So uh, this is the hot air solder level to finish. And again, no complaints uh, with the finish of this PCB. Uh, we've got our slots in here for the isolation barrier. So this is our DC to DC converter. Uh, this side will be floating up around 230 volts. And then this is our logic side of the board. Then we've got our gate driver opto isolator just here with the slot through it. And then obviously uh, our zero crossing uh, detection going the opposite way back into our processor board. So the idea is that these two boards are going to be linked somehow. Uh, but it just gives a bit of flexibility for prototyping uh, up the, uh, the dimmer switch. Um, and then obviously we've got our terminals here with some isolation slots because um, these terminals are a little bit close. Um, for the, for the mains uh, voltage that's across them. But um, yeah, that looks absolutely fine. There's um, no problem with the, the finish for what I can see. And um, no problem with importing the Gerber files actually as well. So when you upload your Gerber files to the website, uh, you can do a preview of what it will look like um, and have a look at the sides of the board and just make sure everything has been imported correctly. Um, but yeah, I mean, they accept Gerber files from most, uh, almost every CAD package. So um, certainly no troubles with, with importing it. I've, I've been using uh, Proteus because um, that's what I've always used. Um, but yeah, no problems with that. And then here we have our little PCB for the vacuum pickup controller. So yeah, this is very similar to the PCB that I uh, used on the Variac soft start controller. Again, we've gone for a hot air solder level to finish. I uh, don't need the gold on here. Um, with the blue uh, solder mask, which on on these looks really good actually. There's no um, there's no problem with the solder mask either. And we've got good separation here of our pads um, on this little SSOP package. Um, but yeah, this looks really good quality. So um, quite happy with those. So I was also offered uh, parts from LCSC. So I've ordered uh, most of the parts that I could for this little project from there. Uh, and the idea is that you sort of order your PCBs, find the parts that you need on LCSC, and uh, they all get shipped together. So um, they didn't have some of the parts that I needed for this particular project. So the, uh, the microcontroller, for example, uh, this is a new part from Microchip, so I had to order that 
direct from microchip because not even uh, Farnell and RS had them. Um, but what I found quite interesting is just the, the range of parts that they have on this on uh, LCSC, um, including parts that you just can't get in the UK from your standard suppliers. So uh, it's not necessarily applicable to this project, but um, things like uh, LED drivers and display drivers, um, there's just tons of them on the website uh, from the Chinese brands. Um, so a lot of the parts that are Chinese branded, you will need to get your phone out and use Google Translate. Um, you can use it, on, use it on your phone and take a picture and it will do all the translation for you. So for example, uh, these DC to DC converters, um, most of the data sheet is in Chinese, but if you use your phone, you can, uh, you can translate it immediately. Um, but um, so I was planning on using um, these XP um, DC to DC converters. Uh, but these are quite pricey. I think it was about four pounds each or something like that from Farnell for the uh, the ones with three kV isolation. These are Mornson branded uh, DC to DCs, and these are available from RS actually. Uh, but these were two dollars each, and they've got three kV isolation, which we we will test uh, in the next video when we assemble all of this. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of twelve volts in, twelve volt out, and then uh, isolation of three kV between it. So let's just check these fit on the board. Yeah, and that's fine. So that goes across our slot. And the idea is that uh, any voltages uh, on the 12 volt side on this board don't end up in our um, logic PCB. Um, so that seems to fit okay. Uh, and then things like hardware is where um, I'm calling hardware things like connectors and pin headers because these are super cheap um, and you can go really, really cheap if you want to. I went for the, the highest quality terminal blocks that I could find on there and they appear to have some kind of glass fibre composition on the plastic as well. So these are really good quality rising clamp terminals. So it makes sure that your stranded conductors uh, get clamped properly. Let's just check these fit in okay. Yeah, that's fine. So these were, uh, let me check, I think they were 20, yeah, 22 cents each. Um, similar part on Farnell was about 80 pence each with the, with the same rising clamp and um, current cable, uh, current carrying capability. So definitely some savings to be had on these things. Uh, and these are, yeah, these are good quality. They do have the very much cheaper parts. So if you're really building down to a cost, um, you can get them a lot cheaper than that. But um, things like terminal blocks, these pin headers, which we'll be using on here. I think I had to get uh, a slightly different size because um, you know, you can't buy that size of pin header so we'll have to snap a couple off but those fit fine into there um, and then we can just do jumper cables between um, between the PCBs and then these are our power MOSFETs which we're going to be using on the dimmer circuit so these are rated for 700 volts and these are Infinium branded uh, MOSFETs and they are supposed to be guaranteed to be genuine parts and uh, they certainly look to have all the hallmarks of being uh, genuine so uh, let's just check these fit in here as well yeah, that's fine. And then we've got some uh, gate driver optocouplers. Um, so these are Fairchild uh, branded parts. I think these were 80 cents on um, LCSC. And these are really nice because we just uh, have our LED drive on this side. And then they've already got the gate driver built in for driving the MOSFET. So you just provide it with 12 volts or whatever you want for your gate drive. And it's already buffered it and everything for you. Uh, to drive your MOSFETs directly. So uh, yeah, I think these were about 80 cents. And then the rest of the bits are just sort of odds and sods really. So we've got some power resistors here, uh, a couple of transistors for uh, driving the, the relay and the solenoid on the pickup controller. Uh, I ordered a couple of different types of uh, LEDs and it turned out that these RGB LEDs are actually identically the same to um, the ones on the LED matrix. So I didn't realize that at the time. I thought they were quite neat and then uh, now they've arrived, they're, they're identical. Uh, tiny little RGB LEDs, which are quite cool. Uh, we've got some blue LEDs, of course, because you always need blue LEDs, and these are going to go uh, on the PCB here. And then these are our bridge rectifiers. So these are rated for 600 volts at one amp. This is just going to be uh, part of our uh, zero crossing detector. Uh, but yeah, these are on the semiconductor branded parts. And uh, again, they certainly look genuine from, from what I can tell. And I almost forgot about the solder stencil actually, so um, we will build up this, uh, this little PCB um, and uh, squeegee the solder paste on and heat it up with the hot air gun, so we'll give that a test, but this was really cheap. Uh, I've no idea why they ship you the massive sheet and don't cut it out, I guess it's uh, a little bit cheaper, but uh, 
this was something like five or ten pounds and you, you pay a fortune for these normally so uh, that's really good value. Yeah so lots of bits to be playing with, there'll be videos soon uh, building these up, uh, obviously we want to pick, finish off the, uh, the vacuum pickup controller and uh, we'll be testing the dimmer uh, switch electronics so uh, that'll be interesting, we'll be able to put the probe on and have a look at all the different waveforms. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty interesting. So I would definitely recommend that you have a look at getting your PCBs made um, by JLC PCB, just because the speed at which they arrived in the UK was just incredible. So I always used to make my own PCBs, but it started to get a little bit tedious for uh, double-sided boards just to get a, a nice looking finish. Um, and considering you can get 10 PCBs for $2 plus whatever shipping um, option that you choose, and it would appear that the factory that makes the PCBs works 24-7, um, which is how they get the boards out in uh, two days. Because, yeah, I placed the order on the Tuesday and it was already being shipped by uh, Wednesday evening. Made it into the UK on Friday uh, and then it just, um, unfortunately, DHL messed up and, and it took for a while to uh, actually get to my house. But this, if you pay for two-day turnaround in the UK, you pay an absolute fortune. I, you know, at work I paid um, sort of £300 per PCB. Uh, for a two-day turnaround and it never is two days anyway uh, you still have to have shipping either side so it really is sort of four days so um, yeah the the speed at which you got these is really impressive and the quality is absolutely fine so obviously better than you can do uh, probably at home and uh, the pricing is is really keen as well so definitely worth a look um, and definitely worth a look at the parts just even just for browsing to see what parts are available because like I said um, some of the Chinese parts that have been optimized for uh, some of the products that you get on eBay, you know, so like those power meters and stuff, those chips that do all of the power conversion and everything, it's really interesting. Um, definitely worth a look, uh, but yeah, the PCB quality is absolutely uh, brilliant. So, um, hope you enjoyed that video, and until next time, thanks for watching.